course, in Killer Kielder, the huge uh, forest on the borders of Northumberland and Scotland. This is the first stage. Watch out. And the man to watch, of course, is Barry Johnson, his 2004 spec Subaru WRC. But the big news here is that Raymond Munro, his arch rival, is not competing in the, this round. But here's a man he's certainly going to watch for. Number nine, Dave Weston, with Neil Shanks alongside him in his recently acquired Focus WRC. Finally moved up from an escort. Number 15, then, Alan Dixon, with Martin Forrest, his co driver. Another Subaru WRC. And the man who makes those sacks is certainly uh, flying here. Make the stage to last about 9 minutes, 19 seconds. And left for one. But we follow Alan Dixon, who uh, took ownership of this car towards the end of last season. Now really seems to be coming to grips with it. Number 16, Chris uh, Wagner here with uh, Alan Stark. Will certainly be one of the front runners. Incidentally, this Scottish uh, Championship Rally running in tandem with the uh, second round, of course, of the uh, Ancro Series, the uh, MSA Gravel Rally Championship. We're just picking out the Scottish contenders today. Number 18, then, Jim Carty and Fred Bell in their Metro. Rumour is that uh, Jim might be moving up to another car soon. The man from Aberfeldy. Malcolm Proudlock then in the Zylock car. Malcolm also competing for points in the MSA Gravel Rally Championship as well as the Scottish Series. 29, this is John Morrison and Alistair McKay in their uh, venerable Evo uh, 4 Mitsubishi. Very dark under the trees, oh, often like this in Kyoto and out One into the light one. again. Oh, and straight on and into the ditch. Hopefully, four wheel drive will uh, get them see out your time, of there. See your time. Well, it doesn't, and uh, sadly, currently stuck. But well, a few spectators come along and help them. I think that's what's happening now. Well, maybe it was the light that actually caught him out there and just uh, locked the brakes up, slid off into that ditch. So easy to do. 35 then, Andy Kelly, the man who uh, sponsors the uh, Park Stages Rally, which is another event that counts for both the Scottish Championship as well as the uh, MSA Gravel Series. Kelly will be running uh, well inside the top ten here with his uh, Mitsubishi. He's got uh, experienced co-driver Dougie Redpath aboard. 36 then is uh, Mallet Nickel. Rest. And this is Alistair, Alistair Turf. Left six, don't cut. 130, slow it down. 130. Turf had a very good uh, summer rally, left. having a bit of a moment there, though. Right six. Finished in fifth place. Middle 120. From all the way Turn up in Inverness. Right. 40. Left five, keep in. miles ahead of me. Sorry, I'll well, cut it. Graham Moore, the co-driver, being chastised there. Turn right. Turn hairpin right. Turn hairpin right. That's not working too well. Oh, and he's off again. Does he keep it? Oh, he keeps it going. Having a wild old ride here. Thirty-eight. The tech sport car then of Alistair Tuff. The Atlas Communications car. Tom Hogan. Then we pick him up on stage three. That's uh, Alistair Thorburn and uh, Keith Jones. John Hamilton, Abby, it says on the front of the car. He's having a good rally. He's uh, well up in the uh, order in the uh, Scottish section of this event. I've been down this week long with uh, David Higgins, and uh, yeah, it was very good. He, you know, he, he gave us seven words to think about, and that's all I'm thinking about. Seven words, can you remember them? Oh, I know exactly what to remember, so uh, that, I put that through my head and I'm not going to tell any bogey. Doing OK, we're kind of learning the car again today. Um, we've done four out of the five stages. 
and I think we're we're leading the National B by four seconds from Chris Wagner. So um, it's all on the last stage. We're taking all the weight out of the car and all the rest of it. So what's the gap between you and Alan at the moment? I believe it's about four seconds. Right, and so going to pull that back. No, we're just going to cruise through the last one and we're going to let him win. He hasn't won anything for a while, so it's, it's his day today. Barry Johnson then continuing on his way, leading uh, the Brick and Steel Border Counties rally outright and also leading the uh, Scottish Point section. Barry doing the uh, complete event. Some of the uh, competitors like Dave Weston also doing that. Others deciding only to do the National B Rally. It's Alan Dixon who leads that section at the moment in the sackmaker.com Subaru. Smith, I'm going to go on board with him. Martin Forrest again on the notes. Again, another very fast section up here on the Scottish borders. 16 then, Chris Wagner running in second place in the Scottish section. A little bit complicated, I know, with these different sections. But one thing you've got no doubt about is Barry Johnson is uh, winning it. Morrison then on his way. And 35, Andy Kelly then. Thirty-eight into the breaking zone then, and it's for Tuff and uh, Graham Law. And uh, well, I might have been uh, upset about the notes, but they're still in third place. Forty-seven, Alistair Thorburn and Keith Jones. And here's John Hamilton and Thorburn and Hamilton, uh, very close together at the moment, trading the odd second between them. But at the end, yes, the winner of the National B Rally, the Sackmaster.com car. But uh, the overall Scottish top point scorer is Barry Johnson and Philip Morrow finishes second.